Good. Three days? Two. Ten days? All right, so those grab your side and roll it in your fingers. And did you feel anything? And if you felt little bubbles in there, we would know that was still. Shoulders and back create shape. It's not chest. Rear delt is the most overlooked body part on an amateur bodybuilder. If they get too big, it'll overpower the chest. And you don't want Workout, we're gonna do shoulders. I know you saw it before, but I wanna show you the different pump between shoulders now and shoulders before. So in every movement, we got first, second, and third muscles that we are engaging. So right now, I'm starting on rear delt. Rear delt is the most overlooked body part on an amateur bodybuilder. So that's why I'm starting on there first to make sure the rear delts are good. So now we're going to posterior delt. We're getting trapeze, little rhomboid. But he's leading with the elbow. Focus on the rear delt. Very lightweight, warm up the rear delt. The rear delt is a small muscle. If I go too heavy, the trapeze will take over and not really the actual, uh, the rear delt. So we're going a little bit lighter. Make sure we're hitting the rear delt head. to the Philippines with Rod Reed. I would like to be there. So the thing is now, how do I make sure I peek him through and you know, and I'm not there. That's where all the videos and all the pictures and me seeing the muscle work all over the time will basically tell me it, where he is. Now, I pretty much have a game plan of what's gonna happen, but that's where FaceTime comes in. So I'll FaceTime him and I know what to ask him. I'll have him squeeze his bicep. I'll see how full it is, I'll see the skin, how it moves on the arm, on the abs, and then I'll know push, pull, add water, take water, add cars like that. point of me trying to build muscle with heavy weight or creating more time to build muscle with heavy weight. I'm basically just trying to keep the muscle there so it doesn't atrophy. So I'm doing that by high protein and keeping the muscle stressed so it doesn't atrophy. So that's why I said it's not gonna be a killer workout, it's more of a pump workout. I'm not trying to break the muscle down, just keep it there. That's right. Ready? Okay, so Mike, since the last shoulder workout, he's put on five pounds. It's pretty clean, not too bad. So I increase, I increase his carbs. I increase other things in the program, and we got five pound result. We're gonna keep going like that. We have one issue from all the food. He's got a little uh, stomach problem, so I added in a digestive enzyme to combat that. The process of all the foods, but it's gonna balance out. So he's doing well. important things is uh, the caps on the shoulders. So what I'm trying to do, I'm going to do another side delt movement. Shoulders and back create shape. It's not chest. So what we want to do, we want a small waist, capped up shoulders, and a nice big taper to the back. So sometimes I'll kill the upper back, I'll kill the side delt, and I'll make sure the front delt is there, because if the front delt gets too big, it'll overpower the chest, and we don't want Okay, now I 
this uh, front delt moving push with the V-bar with a front lateral raise uh, because he's physique, so this front delt in his chest is really important. So I need that to be very round, striated, uh, just really full. So I'll do a superset here. They're just coming together. So I work all the heads individually at first, and then I'll go into the upright rolls and actual press. Because I shoulders, you want them to be separate. You don't want a shoulder just to be big. It has to be separated and round. So that's how we did that. Good up, Mike. Supersetting traps as well. Uh, I'm trying, his traps are good. He's not really getting a pump because he only has one day of carbs and it's not really enough to get a pump. And But it is telling me I'm going to have to load him for three days because I gave him close to 800 grams of carbs in one day and it did something but not enough. So I'm going to need three days to load him and I'm going to have to pour water. Now, if he came in and looked amazing, I said, okay, that'll be no pulling water, no cutting water, anything like that. I'm really good. But since we got a good effect, but not a total effect, I'm going to drop his carbs down, pull them down, then Wednesday before the show, like three days, I'll start loading them up. gym and they would all give their opinion whoever was unanimous that's the direction we would go so I still rely on that I have no ego here so we have a uh, Brad Rowe he's a prep Google here I still make sure he sees what I see or see what I don't see So literally, we'd be on the phone with a guy and we would call him, say, okay, grab your side and roll it in your fingers. And did you feel anything? And if you felt little bubbles in there, we would know that was still fat. That's, that's the old school. I didn't know Brad even know that because yeah. he's a new school guy, but he still has the old school. He has both. He's a like, new thing. So you like to come and grab me. Yeah, like that. Things. So you see the pulling like that. So that's the old school thing. So we were rolling our fingers. If it was bubbly, it's fat. If you can see the serrations move between the skin, it's water. Yeah. But if it was bubbly, it's fat. If you can see the serrations move between the skin, it's water. Yeah. But that's why you'll see me look at it from over there, look at them over there, look at them over there. And then leave my ego at the door and ask somebody else, what do you think? Now, he might not say what I want to hear. And I may be pissed off and I get home and I say, okay, we evaluate things. I don't need a go guy. Yes! Right? I don't hear. I don't hear the truth. Same, we said the same thing. So this reassures me on the same track and no ego here. Thanks, brother.